Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Uh, I thought you'd never ask. It is Friday, September the 18th. It's Air Force birthday today. Happy birthday, Air Force. National Cheeseburger Day. Ooh, something <laughs> special about that darn cheeseburger. Uh, National HIV AIDS and Aging Awareness Day. National Tradesman Day. National Hug Your Boss Day. Hey, get over here. <laughs> And National POW MIA Recognition Day, which is a very special day. A lot of stuff happening on this Friday. And I've got a special guest joining me as well, uh, Brian Posehn. He's been in a bunch of movies, so it could very easily be a movie star Monday. But he's also a hilarious stand-up comic, several comedy albums out, and he's got a brand new one that comes out tomorrow, a new comedy special and uh, we're going to be chatting with Brian Posehn about that. Uh, he's the writer of Deadpool comics, the comic books. Sure. He's uh, in a band. He's a stand-up comic. Busy he's dude. an actor. He's been in TV shows. This guy's just an all-around every... He does everything. So we'll be chatting with Brian Posehn coming up. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-659-7805. That's 800-659-7805. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Popping a Tylenol for a nagging headache may do more than just provide some pain relief. A new study finds that taking acetaminophen, am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. Acetaminophen may also cause an individual to take greater risks than they would otherwise. Oh, really? (laughs) I think I've seen that happen. People are like, they fall down and get hurt. They pop a couple of those. They're like, I'm good. I'm going to get back on there and ride that bull again. (laughs) Like, uh, maybe you should just sit this one out, Grandpa. Bad idea. So uh, they're just saying, if you're going to do that, maybe be careful. Because it's not the end-all, be-all, as Heidi's holding an ice pack to herself right now. (laughs) Thanks for listening to Surveys and Studies and Such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate, and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A Florida man wishes he would have worn a belt on Sunday. Gabriel Wise placed in handcuffs with his hands behind his back. That's when he thought, oh, hey, you know what? I'm going to take off running. And this 34, uh, 37-year-old did not live up to his last name. His last name is Wise. It was not a wise decision because his pants were, you know, the baggy style. Uh-huh. And they yeah. fell down while he was trying to run oh, around his funny. legs, caused him to trip to the ground. Deputies were very easily able to apprehend him yeah, I quickly. Yeah, I would assume. They found some methamphetamine pills on his person. He was charged with burglary of an unoccupied vehicle, resisting an officer without violence, possession of methamphetamines, three counts of possession of a controlled substance without a prescription, two counts of drug equipment possession, and one count of, no, I was going to say indecent exposure, but it's not really on there. Uh, But with his pants falling down, couldn't they have gotten him for that too? Well. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe not. Not unless his underwear fell too. I don't know. That is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. There's a theme. See if you can catch this theme throughout everything we're going to talk about during this particular segment. In a shocking announcement, the Kardashian crew uh, crew revealed that their hit reality TV show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, will be ending after 14 years on the air. Heidi hasn't got a wink of sleep since it's enough. (laughs) So, next story. Showbiz insiders say Kris Jenner decided to end Keeping Up with the Kardashians after Kim kardashian threatened to pull out of the show so she was the one saying i'm gonna leave and they're like well we can't do this without you kim you make this show and then uh next story caitlin jenner had quote no idea that keeping up with the kardashians was coming to an end until her family members made the announcement earlier this week uh the next story caitlin jenner was quoted saying it's probably the greatest reality show in history and then the last story for this segment 
Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Kim Kardashian shot down rumors that she has six toes on her left foot. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> I guess that's that is a little different than the rest. But she's part of that group. So <laughs> I had all of these stories. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just make the whole segment about this. <laughs> and now we'll move on with our lives like everyone should. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> You're listening to the John and Heidi show on a Friday. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. 800-214-7977. Again, that's 800-214-7977. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. According, according rather to a recent report, more than 700 airline passengers have been banned from flying on U.S. airlines for refusing to wear masks. So they tell you, we've recently flown. They tell you ahead of time. They tell you when you get on the plane. They tell you over and over and over and over and over and over, and over that you got to do this if you want to get on our plane. I get that. I mean, you sit so close to other people you're touching them so if there ever was a place to wear a mask i get that's probably the place but over 700 passengers have refused to and have been removed so they're gonna yeah get to- i mean it's unfortunate because if you want to go somewhere you have to comply yeah, i mean so you just you have to follow yeah. their rules exactly and there's people going no i have my rights okay well you have your rights somewhere else because again this is our private plane. property. You yeah. know, you're flying on our plane. So, and I know there's somebody right now yelling at the radio at me. Don't be mad at me. I'm just reading a story, man. Okay. You and I probably even agree on this. Oh, but I'm just uh, saying. yeah. <laughs> An Austri- uh, now, I almost said Australian, but I would have been wrong. An Austrian man by the name of Joseph Koberl lasted more than two days. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I just start over? Sure. Hi, I'm John. I just got here. What is this story? <laughs> Oh, hey, an Austrian man named Joseph Kobrel lasted more than two and a half hours in a glass box filled with ice cubes to break his own world record by 30 minutes. Yikes, no thanks. Oh, wait a minute. There's nothing else going on in Austria, clearly. <laughs> Why? And Why would you do that? To have a world record. I mean, you, you're you always trying to find ways to have a world record. I think it's ridiculous. A, I'm not going to sit in an ice chest for two and a half hours to get a world record some people it means a lot to them doesn't mean that much to me um how does cycling or spinning compare with running or walking as an exercise people ask me this all the time i've never because <laughs> you're the i've never fitness had, guru never had anyone ask me that but an article in the new york times reported that in general running burns more calories per minute than cycling a study uh says in a health study active men were assigned to run for one hour on one day, and then another ride vigorously for the same amount of time, cycling. During both activities, the men's blood levels of ghrelin, G-H-R-E-L-I-N, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a hormone known to stimulate hunger. It fell compared to those who sat quietly. It says, uh, by running, it has a downside, though. Injuries are common. Biking, meanwhile, is gentler on the bones, so cycling right. is a non-weight-bearing activity. So they Running say... it's is really tough on your knees. They say it is better for your knees and your joints. Another option is uh, if biking and running are not your thing, they say walking. Even walking shows uh, a, mm-hmm. a lot of benefits. So even if you can't do the whole running thing and you're like, I can't run, I don't have a bike, walk. You can do that. And one last story. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that restaurants can reopen indoors at 25% at the end of September. Their industry, uh, restaurant industry, employs over 300,000 people at 25,000 establishments in uh, in New York. And it says uh, they have been hit the hardest oh, yeah. in the pandemic since uh, March. That's going to do it for your scoop of the day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. 
Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. We have Brian Posehn joining us for a hashtag comedy call. But you know what? We could have actually done this on a Movie Star Monday as well, because in addition to being a stand-up comedian, very funny one, by the way, uh, Brian Posehn has also been in a bunch of different movies, and he's written comics like uh, Deadpool, the comic book. And coming up tomorrow, he has a really cool thing. It's a virtual comedy show, Brian Posehn Live, an evening with Grandpa metal sounds like a lot of fun i'm gonna have a link to all the info in the show notes but right now we have the man the myth the legend joining us on the phone brian how are you doing sir i'm good how are you i'm awesome tell me more about tomorrow what's coming up with brian posane live an evening with grandpa metal i had a uh, metal comedy record come out in february amazing timing just perfect perfect timing because then the world shut down in march um and i wasn't able to tour it or uh and some of the videos I wasn't able to shoot with with people in person. So uh, we had to do, we did a social distancing video for my first song, Grandpa Metal. And uh, there's another video coming out called uh, New Music Sucks. And uh, we're going to be talking about those. But the, the live show will be me doing stand-up. And at the end of the show, I'll be joined by my band and uh, we'll... Uh, show some videos, hang out with people, and try to make it like a, a live stream green room experience and or like you're hanging in the parking lot with the you know with the performers. And uh, we'll toast and we'll, we'll smoke if people are doing that and uh, depending on where you live. <laughs> and, uh, and then at the end, uh, you know we'll, we'll just joke around. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I love how you mentioned your friends are going to be playing with it. But you got to tell us about who your friends are. Because these guys are amazing musicians, most of whom we've heard in other bands, right? So it's insane. You know, like, I already have some of the coolest friends. Like, uh, it's in, it's really bizarre to me that I, that I do hang with so many bands. Because of Mr. Show and some of the comedy that I've done, I've made friends with these guys. So I've been friends with the guys in Anthrax for about 20 years and uh have done other projects with them and uh so for this comedy or for this record scott ian and i were like let's you know recruit some of our favorite guitar players to do solos and get some guest vocals on here and just really fill this record out and it's every song is funny every song is intentionally funny but then every song is also pretty heavy and like well well recorded you know and i have like a a great producer that's done a million things and has won a grammy and you know like it's legit but then it's with my dumb lyrics over it so uh it's been a a fun experience i'm really excited for the event tomorrow night now will we see you playing like an instrument as well or how, how involved are you in the music uh i write i wrote all the lyrics and i sing everything um, I have a million guitars and I play them here, but no one is ever going to get to hear me play because I am terrible. But uh, I, I love music so much. I'm super passionate about it. And luckily, I have friends that can write songs and play on songs. I think this sounds like a whole lot of fun. Now, Brian, you've had the opportunity to do stand-up comedy, and you've done very, very well with that. You've been on television programs, and you've done well with that. You've been in movies, you've written comic books, and now you've got this really cool music project. As you look at your career, is there anything missing that you really wanted to do? I'm not done. Uh, no, you know, there's some things that I haven't yet, and... Uh, or, you know, and there's stuff that I've done that I want to do more of. I want to do more comic books. I did Deadpool for four years, and, or three and a half years, and I want to go out back, and I want to do more stuff with Marvel. I want to do more stuff with my own characters. Uh, I want to write more. I, I'd love to end my career uh, just traveling the country a few times a year, you know, doing stand-up, but then sitting in my house and writing novels and writing other things. So uh, I'm, I've got a novel. Everybody does. But, uh, you know, I'm... Uh, Working on that, I'd love to direct a horror film down the road, too. You know, I've directed some music videos. I did a a video for Steel Panther. I did a video for Anthrax. I've co-directed most of my own stuff. Um, And I'd love to do, like, an 80s-style slasher film at some point. Well, when it comes out, I'll be getting a ticket. Brian, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Folks, if you get a chance, tomorrow is the big day. It's Brian Posehn Live. An evening with Grandpa Metal. I've got a link to the tickets and all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. 
Thanks for listening to this Comedy Call. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. The new way is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-659-7805. That's 800 800-6- Five nine seventy eight zero five. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The average American opens the refrigerator how many times a day? If you're going to guess, uh, just throw out a number. I'll say twenty five. Wow, you're really close. I'm way below average. I don't open the refrigerator nearly that many times. Twenty two is the answer. Okay. So well, yeah, but you times. don't cook. I was thinking like during a meal preparation, yeah. how many times I have to go to the fridge and get something out and put something away. So that's kind huh. of where my number came from. There you go. That makes sense. The average American opens a refrigerator 22 times per day. And now you know today's fun fact. If you have a credit card, our friends at BetterCreditCards.com would like to make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and then see what you get for points and perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money by getting a better credit card. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can check it out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, Sicily. I've never been to Sicily. I haven't either. It sounds like an awesome place. Maybe it really not a- does. I would. I would go to Sicily. Maybe not according to this story, but uh, here's the story: a Sicilian mafia boss serving life sentence in prison for killing an investigator. He was so infuriated during a cell inspection in his Rome prison that he bit off and swallowed a pinky finger from a guard. Oh my! Yeah, so he really didn't want them in his room. Oh my! So he bit the guy's pinky finger That's off and nasty. swallowed it. Ugh. Can't even imagine. Yeah. Yeah, that happened in Sicily. So now you know. That is a news headline from somewhere in this world. If you take Viagra or Cialis, call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. Call Pharmacy Shop 24 7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Call 800 214 7977. 800 214 7977. 800 214 7977. Again, that's 800 214 7977. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A man from Hawthorne, Florida is facing several charges after deputies say he stole mail from a woman while he was wearing only his underwear. Mm. Deputies responded to a call. They heard about a bizarre story from a homeowner. They say she came outside, found a man in his underbritches taking mail out of her mailbox. She asked what he was doing when 64-year-old, yeah, 64-year-old oh. David Dunaway began yelling incoherently and attempted to attack her while she was in her vehicle. Dunaway swung through her car window but only hit her with the stolen mail. The woman drove a short distance away to put space between the two. He then chased after her. He was eventually arrested and charged with burglary with assault or battery and resisting an officer without violence. Does not say in the story if there were some sort of, you know, things in his system but i'm assuming he was under the influence of something right um so anyway what a bizarre story that's why it's landed right here in today's weird news now your moment of duh brought to you by insurancechicken.com police allege that a supermarket manager was pelted with boxes of frozen pizza in pennsylvania did you get all that sure pennsylvania pelted with pizzas okay (laughs) nice make sure i got all those peas in there um he was uh this there was a man in the store who refused to wear a mask 35 year old patrick steiners charged with harassment and disorderly conduct uh this happened at the giant eagle the 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 store there uh he didn't want to wear a mask that's when this gentleman who works at the store was asking him hey can you can you there's a state mandate i'm sorry it's not me it's we have to do this and the guy starts throwing frozen pizzas at the manager and then ran out of the store (laughs) so he the pizza pelter was arrested by police. He did not purchase the pizza. That pizzas. is enough. Wow. <laughs> you know more peace? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> A big thank you to the police. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Nobody wants to buy car insurance. It's not a fun thing to think about, but it's something you need if you want to drive your car. 
So even if you don't want to buy insurance, you probably have to get it from someone. So why not buy it from insurancechicken.com? Okay, I'll admit, our website name is dumb. Insurancechicken.com. Yeah, our marketing department is not that great. But our selection of insurance options is amazing. See if we can save you money each month on our dumb website, insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. (sighs) Fake news or Florida. A Pensacola doctor was arrested on indecency charges after cameras were discovered in the women's room in his office. Fake news or Florida? I'll say Florida. Nah, it's fake news. Thank uh. goodness. Although, that could easily happen pretty much anywhere. So I can see where you'd guess that. So good job. Uh, two points for the listener that sent that one, by the way. And if you would like to submit a fake news story, you can do so right through our website at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. Time now for good news. We like to wrap things up with good news. We love to wrap things up with good news. I think it's really cool to to end things with good news. And it comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. And I just clicked the wrong button here as I'm uh, grabbing this. So here we go. Uh, This, I think, is a cool story. Dog credited with saving a family as a fire swept through their home. I love dogs. I think this is... Cool story. Derek Walker and his wife Maria and their two children, ages 12 and 9, were fast asleep in their home. And Ralph, their big dog, he's a big dog, started barking at 2.30 in the morning. They say he was in his kennel inside the house, and we heard this barking. He usually doesn't make a sound at night, and it was a different kind of bark. That's when Walker got up to investigate what was going on. As he headed, he saw flames outside the kitchen window. He said, I just started to scream fire to get everybody up. He said, my wife got up and she got her daughter and got out. Uh, Their son's bedroom is on the lowest level of the home. So that's when she went down and and got the son. She said his room was full of smoke already, but he was still sleeping. Yeah. Wow. Fire was right outside his wall. And uh, he wasn't awakened because he sleeps covered in blankets. Right. They were able to get him outside of the home, the dog outside of the home, everybody outside of the home. The smoke, smoke alarms, by the way. Never did not out. sound until the home was completely full of smoke. Oh, my gosh. They say, That's at terrifying. that point, there was so much smoke, I don't know if we would have made it out. The family rents the home, which appears to be a total loss. Most of their belongings were burned oh, up. Oh, shoot. Without Ralph, that's their dog, by the way. Without Ralph, I don't think we would have made it, Walker said. And I don't think my son would have made it. Authorities believe the fire started on the grill and quickly spread to the home. So I'm not sure if there was like a gas leak on the grill or what uh. happened exactly. I have a link to the story if you want to read all about it. And the photos of, first of all, the dog is adorable. Big old dog. Uh, but the photos of the fire are just amazing how much damage was done. But that can happen so quickly. That's why I want to make sure I say a huge thank you to all first responders who go out and make sure that people are safe. Because the dog saved their life by waking them up. But you know who really saved their life? The firefighters. Because the dog didn't put out the fire. Right. Firefighters did. And and it's so sad to me to see some people are turning on firefighters now. Did you see? I posted a photo the other day. They smashed the windows on a fire truck. I'm like, why would anyone this whole, do that? This whole situation is just I don't. It doesn't make any sense to me. So hats off to all first responders. We absolutely appreciate you. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.